Hello all, welcome back to Building Predictive Systems with Python and Machine Learning. We're starting a new section today about solving our first challenge, tackling bad data with pandas. In this section, we're going to take a look at number one, how we can find issues with our data if we are handed over a raw data file that we've loaded into Python. Number two, using pandas to get our data ready for modeling. And number three, building a model to assess our chances of surviving this Titanic. The first video, we're going to look at how we can find issues with our data. In particular, we're going to focus on three issues. Number one, missing data. Number two, multiple pieces of information in one column. And number three, useless or noisy columns. Let's go in and take a look. In both chapter three and four, we're going to talk about the Titanic datasets. So you can find this Titanic dataset online, and the one I'm using is from a university repository. It should have about a thousand data points. The first thing to do in N1 is we import pandas, as usual. We're importing pandas using the data science community's convention, import pandas as PD. In N2, what we do is we assign Titanic data as a data frame, and we read the CSV, titanic.csv, into it. We can then take a look at the Titanic data. Because we have created this as a data frame, Jupyter kindly formats it very nicely for us. You can see that we have all the way to, we have 1310 rows, and in particular the last row is empty, right? And you can see that we have a lot of data on the passengers in this data set. In particular, the thing that we're trying to predict is whether somebody has survived the Titanic disaster. If it has survived, we can see that it's survived would be set to one and this data point hasn't survived this flag will be set to zero so this is a target the survived column is the target everything else is attributes or features of the data so what's wrong with this data the very first thing is we can see that the last row is empty right this is this is not even a data point it's just it's useless the first thing we'd like to do every time we go through data is we want to invoke the describe function. So the describe function works on data frames in pandas. And what it would do is it would take all the features that are numerical. So here, for example, the name isn't a numerical thing. Gender isn't a numerical feature, but then for example, age is a numerical feature, right? Describe takes all the numerical features and gives you a summary of the means, the standard deviations, and the quartiles of this feature, right? So for example, here we can see that 38% of people in this data set survived and the other 62 didn't. Most of the people are between class two and three in their carriages. And the average age is, for example, 29.8, which is close to 30. And they pay something around $33 with the maximum person paying $500. We can also see how much missing data there is by using the info function. You can actually already see it in the counts, but I think the info section is a little more clear about what data you're missing. Here we can see that we have 1,310 entries and because we know that one row is completely blank. There are 1,309 entries for things like passenger class, whether somebody has survived, their name, their gender. For example, in age, we don't actually always have the age of a passenger, but then whether they have parents and children, whether they have siblings, that's always available to us. So this is the first issue, right? The first issue is we don't always have all the values in the features. And so we can't always depend on the feature giving us information to whether this person has survived. 
The second issue is we have multiple pieces of information in one feature. This appears a lot in raw datasets because the data collection process might not be entirely clean. For example, name gives us a lot of information, right? What, how long their last name is gives an indication of where they're from. Their title gives indication of their social class and gender. So one feature, one column here in the raw data actually contains multiple pieces of information that we need to split out. So this is the second issue, right? A lot of times, because the data collection isn't entirely clean, you would have multiple things happening in one column. And what we need to do later on, and what I'm going to show you in the next video, is how we can tackle this and split the data into multiple columns, right? The issue is the information in one column isn't uniform because it's holding multiple pieces of information. And the fix that we're going to see in the next video is how we can split this column into multiple columns so that each column represents one particular feature. And we can then use that feature as an input into a machine learning predictive model down the line. The third issue is useless or noisy column, right? So we have home destination, which I think it's related to where this person is from. If we use the sample function, we can take a random sample of 25. This is a number I fed it. You can feed it any number you want. We were sampling 25 data points from the destination column from this data set. And we can see that this column is extremely noisy, right? We have a lot of missing data. We have some location data that is quite hard to parse because, for example, here, Lexington, MA, Massachusetts is a state and a location in the United States. We know this because we have context about the world, but the machine learning model would not know this. And, but things like Lancashire, like is this UK or is it US or where is this place? Netherlands similarly is a country, but then the position of Netherlands, if you only split by the comma here, is the, at the same as the state. So you would need a lot of background information to parse this. So when we say noisy columns, it's not like we can't cut through the noise and extract some signals from this feature. It's just sometimes the effort or the cost is too great for the reward, so we don't do it. Generally, the way we attack the, this issue is we just either take what we can from the feature and construct a new feature that is a lot more clean, or we just discard the feature entirely to prevent the noise from affecting the quality of our predictions downstream. The other one I want to talk about is body. So body is a feature that talks about whether this thing, this data point has a body number, a body identification number. So when there's a body identification number, it means that this person has unfortunately not survived. That's why there's a body identification number. So actually what we can do is we can say if somebody has a body identification number, surely this person has not survived. And we can use this information to very quickly pre-qualify the data set, right? Because we don't even need a predictive system to predict whether this person survived. If we know that there is a body identification number, they have definitely not survived. So what we're doing here is we first look at the body data points where the body is an NA. So here we can use the pandas function not na to filter out for data points which are not null or you know has a value and we again sample 25 from it we can then see that if we pick out all the data points or so all the passengers with a body identification number and we describe them we can see that none of them has survived right so this has reinforced or verified a hypothesis that if you have a body identification number, you would have not survived, and we can filter that part of the data set out. Because if we are asked to predict whether somebody has survived, we can simply say, if there's a body identification number, I know 100% of the time, because we as data scientists, we have a logic on this. We know that if there's a body identification number, they have definitely not survived. And we can simply return survived equals zero, and 
boost our predictability because that's a big part of the data set where we can deterministically say the result is survived equals zero. And then we can use our machine learning algorithm on the rest of the data sets and allow that to infer probabilistically whether somebody survived. And that's all there is to it. So we have learned about three issues that we commonly see in a data sets. So we have issue one, missing data. Issue two, multiple pieces of information in one column. And issue three, useless or noisy columns.